Welcome back to RimWorld uh, Empires of Propane with Steve Power Jr. Episode 12 specifically. I'm just kind of cut right into it because last episode kind of ended off on a... On an interesting note, we we seem to have the mechanoids moving. Uh, again, I'm just gonna keep my eyes out for it. I'm not gonna rush or anything like that. I think I'm going to make everyone also come inside. Are they actually coming? Oh, okay, they're, they're attacking the larvae. That's, that's fine. Uh-oh, wait up. Uh oh. Let's see. Let's see what they do. Well, let's let's see what they actually do. Cause I I don't know exactly what's going on here. I just want this quest fucking done because we finished it last episode. Uh, it seems we had two raids right at the ending of it. Go. Oh, get inside. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Assign schedule home. Yeah, everyone get inside. The mechs need to get inside. Yeah, hopefully they, they have the firepower to handle this, but I don't think they... Oh my god, this person got fucking owned. Well, they seem to be... Actually... Oh, no shot, you're gonna actually do this to me. All right, everyone get inside. I knew this was gonna happen. These stupid fucking robots, dude. Ain't no way you're gonna leave that door open. Oh, close that shit. Yeah, these guys aren't the smartest cookies in the, uh, in the jar, you know? They're not the best ones. They're definitely lacking on basically everything. Uh, Lime, you need a gun. Why don't you have a gun? You do have a gun. I'm just stupid. Uh, do you have any bullets? I thought I made the bullets last episode. Oh, no, they're not done yet. Okay, I see. Uh, this guy is still fighting for his life. That's fine. Where did the pods arrive? Okay, we have a side link inside now. Okay. Uh, they seem to actually be... Okay, they're actually... They're actually coming. That's not good. <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> okay. I mean, they're pretty messed up. We got very lucky to be able to engage them when they were damaged. That does make that mech cluster... I don't think it's a bad idea to go for it right now. I don't think they can even shoot. Ah, oh, whatever. We can go for the shots. I don't know though. They didn't they didn't register us really. I'm not gonna stress too much about that. You know what? If they're not after us, I'm not gonna worry about them. Let us get the fuck back inside. And other than that, though, everybody, I think we're just gonna speed this up. I don't think anything else is really gonna be happening. Uh, I'm just gonna be inside for a little bit. That's just gonna be the smartest choice we have. Is there any more zone I can clear up for Area 1? Not really. This is as much as we can really do. Alright, well, we could definitely use the food. Uh, that That's still alive. Oh, are you actually good by any chance? Restful? Okay, this guy is just miserable. Fuck off. Every good person survives. So what about any of these people? But these are friendly, so I'll just let them die. I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, tycoon, cannibal. I'm not going to worry about that either, because if they cause shit, we are screwed. Hmm. Is that a good gun? How good is this ammo? Okay, yeah, it's not a bad weapon. I'll definitely take it. It might be cheap to, to shoot, use as well. Alright. Alright then. I'm okay with that. Let us get to work. And then now that I'm not everybody, I will see you all when something else interesting occurs. I think we're good to go. Oh! Okay, well, it is day... 
348. We had a couple of mental breaks due to the insane fucking psychic drone. I'm not gonna lie, it was it was pretty rough. Uh, but yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna beat these fuckers up. Nothing that we gotta really worry about here. I mean, this guy's fucking asleep. Wait, did Calibran actually get out? Holy fuck! I think we just shot him. <laughs> We blasted this fucking guy. <laughs> oh well. But yeah, a uh, very minor issue. Nothing really happened. We are going to prioritize making the mech really quick though. Because I do want to bring that little robot back to life. It's good to have the Militors up and running. But yeah, other than that though, really not much has occurred. Uh, where did a hauler die at? Oh shit. Um. Huh. I don't remember where the hauler died at. That's not good. I mean, it probably died around here. Uh, but I actually have no fucking clue. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I don't know where I put the hauler body. We might just have to make a new one. Or it was completely destroyed, which uh, is possible. It's just not very likely. But then that's not really a big deal, and I will see you all when something else interesting occurs. Day 48. Okay, we got ourselves a blizzardless clutch mother. I don't think that's going to last very, very long. Uh, it is day 349. We also had a party, just it literally just finished, uh, which is great. But I think that's just going to give not that big of a mood, but it depends how good it was. Uh, but okay, wasn't that bad actually? A plus seven party is actually pretty fucking good. That is huge. Oh, I also gotta check though, because it doesn't seem to really mention it. Okay, well, it, does, it doesn't say she's pregnant or anything. I'm surprised she doesn't have a mood debuff from the sapling, but I guess that's because it was like not fully, you know, not even like really a thing to say the very least, you know. But hey, you know, I'm not gonna complain. I don't, I don't want them to be fucking miserable. I think we got that KS-23, though. I do want to see where that is. Uh, I thought I took it. There she is. Okay. Uh, what's your gear looking like? Pretty damn good. So who should get it? Who is, like, a decent shot, actually? Okay, not def Actually, you know what? I think he would actually be the most possible, like, person to use the shotgun, actually, because... He's so goddamn inaccurate, he might as well just use as many shotgun shells as humanly possible. Cause these are pretty fucking good. Uh, let me- let me see how good they are again. It's 23 by 47, I believe. 75, even bigger than I thought. But look at that, 40 steel. Fucking nuts, man. And I think even the slugs are like decent armor pens, so we'll fucking pop those too. Fuck it, because why not, right? Uh, the Militar should be done in less than a day. I I'm not worrying about the Clutch Mother. We're just gonna get rid of all these, uh, these stupid me messages. Oh, you need Death Rest. Alright, you're gonna do that. And does Lime need Death Rest? Nah, she's fine. She's still got some time left before she needs to. Might as well put them to sleep, though, before, uh, before I forget, right? But other than that, though, uh, we're also going to make this person into a Bruxa, or try to anyways. I don't know if we can afford it, but it's going to be a good idea to have mul to make him into a combat class. Having another vampire is not bad either, because I mean, <laughs> yes, sir. <coughs> <coughs> By far, that is the most crazy benefit is, is those Archite genes. I actually might make Steve into a Bruxa. Like, that's how good they are. <laughs> Uh, that is not a negative. They're, they, yeah, a little bit more hunger. Yeah, they definitely do need- I actually might not do that then, because how much do you need to eat? But we need all hands on deck. Mm. All right, fine. Oh, we also just recruited them. Excellent. Uh, we're gonna make them into the main warden. Uh, I don't really want these people to be work working on that stuff. Uh, you can entertain as well, which is very nice. 
Uh, you won't worry about that. You can be our co an actual cook. Uh, I want to make this butchery job only for Clooney then. Where the hell is it? Because he's really good at butchering. He's a sous chef. I think he gets more, though, from butchering if you're better at cook. But whatever. We're not going to worry about that right now. We actually might make some good quality meals then. We might start actually doing that. And obviously he can clean. He can do therapy. Uh, obviously fight fires. That's the last. That's the last. Child care. Absolutely max that out. So yeah, yeah. Not, not Steve. We, we actually have enough people now. And they'll be our dedicated cleaner. I think uh, they'll prioritize cleaning and stuff like that. And then Steve can finally just say, Ah! Living off the, the labors of my work. You know, he's living his good life. But it's day 349. And this is actually kind of a big deal. Because uh, now they're actually working bodies. They're actually doing shit. Hopefully they, they start... Yeah, okay. They're, he's equipping some of the gear and stuff that we're making. But we might need to make some, some toques and shit. Or, or try to anyways. Oh, I almost forgot to, uh, yeah, 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 let's, uh, let's do that really quick. I don't really have a room for him. Oh, I actually do. Perfect, because, uh, these are, that's why I, all, I also all want them all to have lovers so we can save on space. That's, uh, that's another thing I want them to do. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit, it's a little bit, uh, cheap, but hey, man, you know, love, love is in the air, happiness flows. All right, can't give him shit for it. And we have the shotgun shells made, excellent. How are we doing for our crafting skill? It's definitely getting up there. I want him to be a fighter though. I mean, he he's really like, he's actually getting pretty up there in all of his stats. I mean, for how much shit we've had to do for the poor fucking guy. <laughs> so funny. But yeah, other than that though, day 350 and I'll see you all when something interesting happens. Uh, what? Oh my god. Okay, well, I just made the Militar, and for whatever reason, it was here. I don't know why it decided that was the, the right course of action, and I actually really want to know why. But now we got to build ourselves a, another Militar. Uh... <laughs> I don't know, and I still don't know where the other hauling bot is. I think it burned up. Or, or, or despawned, or, or whatever. Fuck, dude. I don't want to... Ah, whatever, it's not that big of a deal. Other than that, though, everybody, I'm going to go make some more of these, and I'll see you all when something actually interesting happens, instead of some dumb shit. Ooh, okay, this might actually be pretty interesting. Uh, I've also realized I've just been getting very lucky with these, because uh, now we finally are starting to get them. Uh, they're very rare, it, it actually turns out. I've just been getting extremely, extremely lucky. But anyways, let us see. Oh. Oh, well, we don't have any war caskets. This would be great, though, if we did. Okay. Alrighty, so it is day 354. I do want to let everybody know, I mined out basically the entirety of the base. We are now upgrading it so we can have a couple more rooms. In here, you know, I want this to be like the the main bunker, to say the very least, in case shit goes bad. At least we have some sort of cover. I do know that some of this is constructed roof. Not all of it is overhead mountain. I might separate this, like as its own like as its own grouping. Like make a wall here and then have I don't know maybe another bedroom or something in here, possibly. Uh, there's a lot. There's a lot in here. But yeah, other than that though. We got ourselves a little bit of a hunting issue. Let us handle this really quick, and then we will go back to whatever we were doing. Because I'm pretty sure we can handle this. This is not, like, uh, that big of a deal, right? I'm pretty certain. I hope so. Should it be? Can you shoot this thing from this distance? Oh, my God. What a shot, dude. Incredible. Yeah, not that big of a deal. Done in one shot. Boom. And then after everybody, I will see you all when we return. Crazily enough, I was had a phone call right as I was doing this shit. But, nothing that big of a deal, just a minor annoyance, mainly. 
Uh, we got ourselves a Blizzard Lisk hunting Steve. It is day 355. Uh, we are almost on our sixth year. Holy crap. Five days from a sixth year. That's insane. I just realized. Oh my god. <laughs> Oops. But um, but yeah, other than that though, not much has occurred. I was just on the phone, so I you guys won't really get ah, well, I'll see what I could do for the sound. I'll blast these fuckers right before they become a pain in the ass. Maybe we could tame it. Oh god damn it. I mean, I do want to take this shit in. Ah, uh, do I really want to? No, I mean the bodies are good for meat. Oh, uh, you know what? We won't. We won't stress about it. Right, not right now. Anyways, it's it's super super early. But yeah, other than that though, minor issue or converted. Uh, there was a quest we received a while ago. Uh, it was for a shack containing a super hammer. Garbage. Obviously, we can't really do anything about it because sadly we do not have the means. We also got a stash of goodies, which is protected by a mechanoid cluster. I'm not gonna bother with that. Just don't want to die. Uh, and then we got like a bunch of mining sites. Mmm, steel. Uh, I mean, I don't have a, that much carry weight. When I get an animal or something, because I can actually afford one, we'll probably start doing. What are you doing? Oh, I see what's gonna happen. Okay, they're gonna they're gonna fuck up here. All right, let's take the bodies and let's get the fuck out. That's it. That's all. That's all we're here for. Uh, did we take the reinforced barrels? I'm pretty sure we did. Uh, where the hell did I put them? Okay, not bad. Yeah, yeah, we can definitely work with this. This is perfect. Oh yeah, we can get the fuck out of here. No matter, no matter the danger, we will for sure be able to leave. But yeah, other than that though, day 355, we're almost a year in. I'll let you know when the year comes by, or if anything else interesting happens. Or research, blah blah blah. Other than that, peace. Oh, well, it is day 356, and we got ourselves a... Pretty convenient one. I mean, yeah, we can absolutely handle this. This is not a big deal at all. Uh, let's get everybody down here immediately. Let's get you to this. So, you know, I'm getting tired of you not having your gun out. So, there you go. Let's get the mechanoids down here to escort. I mean, to be fair, we could just shoot that one. And then it's just going to be a fucking clusterfuck if we just do that. Alright, well, we'll send the haulers over here. The sweet, sweet Militor is over here. Uh, Eric, you can- Oh yeah, Eric can't even fight. Alright, let's get you out of here. <laughs> you can go back to work. <laughs> the Militors are all in place. Hopefully, they can't shoot each other. The wall is there, so... Right, worst case. Okay. I mean, it's a good test. Uh, maybe we should keep the people here and the people over here. Steve as well. And then keep Lime here. Since you're a shotgun user, you can stand right here. And then the, one of the drones can stand here. Okay. We can definitely make this work. My, oh my. Well, this is gonna help significantly to deal with this problem. Just don't shoot your unstable power core. That's that's all. Uh, Eric, you don't want to be out here, man. Awesome! Yeah, we did it! Woo! We did it! I'm so proud. <laughs> uh oh. Here they come! Brace! All right, Steve. Snapshot. Uh, you're on Snapshot. You're also on. Oh, you gotta, you gotta reload that, Bucko. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, that thing fucks. Get blasting, boys.
Quite the show, ladies and gentlemen. Quite the show. But that's another piece of power right there. Uh, I don't really want to engage like this. I do want to slowly, like, kind of take advantage of this situation. I want them to fight us, but I don't want them to overwhelm us, to say the least. Let's open. Let's just keep this open, right? Pop boop. Little shotgun blast, right? Oh, get them. They'll, they'll, they'll make them come right in. There you go. There we go. Little groups at a time, you know? We can handle one or two or three or four, but not like 30 of them. All right, let's, uh, let's get you boys with buckshot. It's all about how you handle the problem, right? If, 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 if an opportunity like this just gets thrown in your lap, you're not gonna say no. <gasps> Alright, that's fine. As long as you don't die. Just, just lose your- Okay, that's fine. We can- 25, 25 steel is not that big of a deal. Incredible. The KS-23? Mmm. To be fair though, that was my bad. I kinda... Kinda became a bozo there for a second. Uh, to be fair though, good amount of food. Not complaining. Very nice. And components and steel and all the, uh, the other pizzazz. Man, these biggest spiders are way tougher than I thought. Alright, reload. Takes him a fat minute. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They got some pretty good fucking armor, man! I gotta, I gotta, I gotta give them credit. Credits do where credits do, man. I'm not gonna deny it. Uh, we can deconstruct this. We can uninstall the. Ah, uh, we'll, we'll do that later. Wow! Wow, wow, wow. Okay, well, boom. We can make this all into a beautiful, beautiful claim zone. And there we go! Woo! We are back, baby! We are fucking back! Oh, it's incredible. Uh, we can also claim that Militor back. We are so fucking back, dude. That's crazy. Yeah, that's awesome. Day 356, almost a six year in. Very, very, very good stuff. Other than that, I'll see you all when something else interesting occurs. Alrighty, everybody, we just took out the Blizzard Clutch Mother, just, just to get it out the way. I didn't think it would be that easy, to be honest, so I'm making this a quick little little introduction. Two days has passed, day 357, and we're just cleaning up the, the hives that are left over, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, good, good stuff. Good stuff has happened, man. That's it. Really, just a lot of work and a lot of... Uh, a lot of butchering, getting a lot of meat, getting all that stuff done. It's good stuff. And we got camp fuel we're finding right at the same time. Crazy stuff. Other than that, though, everybody, continue on, and I'll see you all when something else interesting happens. Alrighty, everybody. It should be quite literally almost day or year six on the dot. We installed the unstable power cell, just threw it up in the base. We're actually getting quite a lot of unlimited power. Very good. Like, that's not a bad thing. <laughs> um, I just realized something. Can we not actually... Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, Militor died, which is which is understandable, to be very, very honest. We are also processing all the meat that we have gathered from that. Thank you very much, Randy, for giving us an infestation to clear out this abominable fucking area. Uh, that means we can actually deconstruct this now, basically. I think so, anyways. Can we claim this? Okay, yeah, we can uninstall that. We can claim this, bring that. Ooh, actually, we can use this as a permanent light source. Not bad, if you ask me. And then we could just, you know, deconstruct all this steel, because every little bit helps. Especially right now. Right, it's always good to save up our steel and, and stone, stuff like that. Get that shit out the way, basically. But yeah, other than that though, everybody, 
Uh, I really don't know what else we're going to do for the sixth year. Um... I did have something planned. Oh, it's a birthday today. Oh, isn't that crazy? <laughs> I think we might do a trade run, but I do got to get off soon. So we might have to do that next episode. Uh, we do have a, we do actually have a real shotgun. Okay, well, we'll just use this shotgun until it breaks. Cause it, I think it is a very low durability anyways. And I do know for a fact somebody has an AK. So I will definitely give them some of these. Yeah, he should be okay. Oh my god, why are you carrying so much weird shit on you, friend? The hell? Okay, we'll get that out of your inventory. Ah! That's what I was gonna do. And congratulations, uh, it is not the insulting spree. Oh no. Yeah, calm him down, calm him down. Now calm him down. We don't we don't need him talking shit for no reason. What why are you so sad, Clooney? What's going on? Rebuffed by Lime. What are you hitting on Lime for? Missing big block of rock. Uh oh. <gasps> oh no. This is really bad. Okay, shit. Uh we will definitely we will definitely do that later. I hope. Oh, we might have to make a church already. Are you kidding me? Ay, ay, ay. Okay, well, we can absolutely grab all of this shit. And all of this shit. Because I'm pretty sure now we can actually make this uh, totally livable. Yeah, we can live here now. This whole area is back, back on the menu. We'll also take that. Seems like we had a transfer pod that I never noticed. There's the dead hauler! <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, no, it's down there. Okay, that's fine. Just making sure. Better safe than sorry. Uh... Let's get you out of here, bucko. I'm pretty sure you can handle a couple... Oh, you're also an impet, so you got fire spew as well. That's insane. Oh, for the love of God. Load! Blast it! Good shit. That's the only way we could survive in such terrible conditions, is by burning everything down. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's funny, actually. He he can spray fire, but is afraid of fire. <laughs> I fucking love that. <laughs> but yeah, it is the sixth year we have survived six years in this godforsaken place. I think we're a lot better off than the last base, anyways, before we had to shamefully abandon it, to say the very least. Uh, I still don't know exactly what to do. We need some of these people with melee weapons, so that's good. Uh, Renov, you should get one as well. I mean, it's better than nothing. Like, that's, that's what I'm working with here. Aren't you a psychic prodigy? Yes, you are. So you can also use a, uh, the Neuroformer. Congratulations. I'm also going to convert Eric into the, uh, what's it called? You know, fuck it. I think I'm just going to make the ideology block the, the big block of rock is steel brick. Very fitting for our, our environment anyways. Let's let's just do that really quick. Uh, I need this thing with a lectern. Can we do granite? Just That's also like another very fitting material we use. I mean, in theory, we could do it like this. This is pretty cool. All right, we can do that before we finish up, because uh, I do. We do need an ideology uh, thing at the very least. I don't think there could be any bedrooms in it though. So I think I know exactly what I'm gonna make this area into. I'm gonna make this into our like uh, we don't know what to do with you yet kind of room. <laughs> at the very least, hopefully though we can convert this into like an actual church. I don't know exactly what we can do yet. 
Actually, I would much prefer you to build the way, way more important block of rock. I hope we can- I hope this works. Because, uh, we are getting a lot of negatives now for... My friend Harry died. Oh, he had friends. To be fair though, they got slaughtered, man. Like, they, they got- they got mega owned. Like, mega owned. Not just like owned owned, mega owned. Alright, the big block of rock is built. And it's not disrespected. Which is big. That's really, really big. Inspiration satisfied. What'd you do? Oh, you shot your gun. Okay. Uh, let us begin the role change. We are going to make Eric our speaker. You know, we're going to make them think we're hard. Well, actually, that's we're peaceful. We can, we're only peaceful because we're capable of great violence. That is why we need a, a harmless man to, to lead us forward. All right, boom. Let's party out, bitches. Ooh. And boom, baby. Alrighty, that should give everybody a massive mood. Alright! No negatives! And then Eric should be... Uh, super happy. Because he is a high mate. Incredible. In fucking credible. Okay, begin to roll change. Uh, I don't think we need to do anything like that. Do we have any... I think we need an ideology spot for that, right? Uh... I have no idea how this works. Oh, the leader. Ah, it's Eric. We don't have a leader? I thought we made him, uh... Okay, I guess it's not activated yet. Oh, well. Uh, we will definitely... Do we have the... Oh, yeah, the Julebi of Dominance. Okay. Which can only happen, I think... Oh... Okay, well, I guess we can do that here. Kind of a kind of a badass thing to do, I, honestly. The Julie Beale dom dominance right outside of the base. Hell yeah, let's fucking do it. Let's fucking do it. We got we got some wood we can work with. Fuck it. Incredible. This will give us a pretty big mood boost, actually. Oh wow! Oh, that's huge. Oh, that is huge. Alrighty, everybody, what a great way to start off the new year. We actually got all the things that we needed now for our religion, so now people should be super, super happy. Uh, well, it's Steve Jr. And, and Lime, anyways. I'm gonna make them go back to attacking, because now that we are no longer dealing with mechanoids, we can just go back to the life that we wish for, right? And Eric, you may run like a motherfucker. Alrighty, so yeah, other than that though, we're just gonna pop this gestator a little bit, see what, see the beautiful, beautiful military that we have created. And we're going to move you to group two, gets his ammo, great stuff, assign, schedule, mechs, set that fucker to home. And there we go, just that easy. And other than that, though, everybody, I'll see you all when something interesting happens. But I do got to get off soon, so expect me to just be hopping off, basically. Oh, shit, everybody. We got ourselves an exotic goods trader. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Let's see what they got for us, right? If it's worth it, I'm blasting them. We got enough people. Of course, there is nothing that we could give less of a fuck about. Oh, 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 we got one more. We got one more. Oh, what the fuck? Is that a slurpede? <gasps> okay. Okay, we could we could be working with something here. We could be working with something here. Come on, Eric. This is this is your time to shine. You're beautiful. You're gorgeous. It's your time to look good. Right? 
All right. That's what I like to see. Boom. Right. Oh, we could buy bison. That would be huge. That would be fucking huge. And the slurry peed. That's good. That's the, that's a smart choice. That's actually really, uh, really a good idea. Uh, oh my god, a synthetic heart. Oh my god, watch this fuck up the- this- Oh, dude, I can't risk that. The Psychic Insanity Lines. <gasps> Ooh, M72 Law? How good is this? How good is this? Boom. That's, uh, we're, we're buying that immediately, just in case. You never know. You never know. Uh, drugged rib implants. Let's actually dismiss this really quick. Plus seven mood. Might actually be good. If we can install it anyways. I want to get medicine first before we start doing shit like that. Um... Really not a whole lot for us, huh, motherfucker? God damn it. Ay, ay, ay. Always. Uh, I do want to make mortars, so I might keep the reinforced barrels. I think that's a good idea. Uh, I'll sell these then. I guess that's it. This is really shit. Is there anything else that we can actually sell? Components, I guess, huh? We can sell these as well. We don't really need the fine meals up here. We could sell the barrels. You know, fuck the barrel. Ah, I mean, mortars are good, but... We're not gonna get any of that stuff yet. And I would rather have the right nows. Bison is good. That definitely is gonna make our food usage pretty, pretty high. But... As long as we can handle it, we should be fine. <laughs> Do have an idea for them. Because that will solve our, our carrying problem. We can actually, like... Fuck it. Okay. Let us make a pen. Is it? I don't even know anymore. Uh, I forget where the, the post or the pen thing is. There you are. I'll definitely make you out of steel because I trust you that way. Alright. Boom. Make this now. Unenclosed. Open door. Let us put a composite. Oh. Let us put a steel. Oops. Because we have an open door here. Let's just close that really quick. Boom. Very small pen. So we got the two animals here. Prioritize roping the bison into their assigned area. Uh, who is our best handler? Clooney. Animals. I know you could stay inside the home zone, Slurpede. I actually might make your own zone. Um, should I make the pen in here? Because the bison should be able to handle extreme cold, right? Yeah, we just got to keep our eyes out for them. Uh, let us make some furniture. Because it, it's going to get pretty scuffed. Uh, I won't lie. It gets pretty scuffed whenever you're, you're like, working with, uh, <laughs> with animals like this. Psychic suppression for <laughs> done. <laughs> no question asked. Uh, was that for men? Actually, oh, for males. <sighs> Should have read that, but hey, we got ourselves another vanometric power cell. That's what I'm talking about, babe. Oh, there it is. 
That is the easiest fucking power supply I've ever seen in my life. Give me that. Thank you. Yoink. And I think we're going to set up a trade. Uh, we're going to get the fuck out of here, honestly, because, uh, yeah, let's do that. We're going to set up a trade, and I think that's how we're going to end the episode off, because, uh, you know, it's better that way. I'd rather, I'd rather have that stuff set up than setting it up next episode. He's also leveling up pretty damn well. We have 15 parkas in here right now, which is amazing. Might have to start deconstructing a lot of that stuff, but... How are the bison's doing for food? Just let me know whenever you're hungry, and I'm gonna pop these fuckers open for them. <coughs> because that means we can actually, like, steal wood and shit now. Like, absolutely can just, like, act, like properly go out here. Oh, speaking about that. Okay, that's the black rock sediment. Let's not fuck with that. Well, we could definitely... You see what I mean, though? Like, if we go out here, we can actually fight this and take all that wood and then use it for ourselves and actually not have to worry about wood anymore, which would be amazing. But, again, there's only so much we can do right now. I don't want to rush anything. I want to make sure we get it done. Uh, I also want to make a dumping stockpile. I don't know where to actually make this. You know, just right here for now. That works. Then we will get rid of the chunks. Steel slag. Get rid of corpses. There we go. That's going to be our stone, like, uh, just areas for now. Just so we can burn through it slowly. A lot, a lot of stuff we gotta get doing. But yeah, that's gonna start the stone production again, because we definitely do need stone back. And let us set up that trade route. To the Black Rock Caravan. Uh, yep. I would love to bring all of them. Yep, I would love to bring all of them. I would like to bring only two people. Steve. And Lime. Uh, and Eric, because might as well, he, he can't fight anyways. Also, we're going to be bringing up all of our gear, all the stuff that we want to sell, everything, basically literally everything. Boom, boom, actually that's garbage, boom, I'll take my silver too, might as well, boom, boom, we don't need the backpacks anymore, we can sell them. Do, 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 do. Sure, we'll sell that too. It's pretty good condition for some reason. Any guns that we don't want, we'll sell that. Ah, we'll, we'll keep the guns. They seem to be coming in handy. Oh. Okay. I know what's happening here. Let's get some meals made. We'll do that first, then we're actually going to send the trade out. Oh boy, come on now. Uh, yeah, he's going to be making the disgusting nutrient paste, which is fucking awesome, by the way. It's absolutely abysmal. I'm not even kidding. But, it's so bad. Only carnivores and omnivores can eat it. It's literally just just so bad. Every the, everything that the body needs and absolutely disgusting. This paste is even more disgusting than the paste produced by a nutrient paste spread, and people will just outright hate eating it. It was cheap though. I believe it's literally three nutrients for a meal. It is so cheap, in fact, that I I don't even think it's possible to like even worry about it. I, I honestly fuck it. I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make our own zone New area rename Slurry and that thing is just gonna go to fucking town In our in our little base here And then we obviously might as well let it to have some roaming around in there But cuz you know might eat some meals in the floor But boom see already eats the nutrient paste it is now at full full hunger. Okay, where the hell are you at? And it should be able to make an entire disgusting ass meal uh, from that. Super, super good. It's insane. It is absolutely insane. Holy moly, that was fast. Uh, we also just got a research going. Wow. Okay, this is some good shit happening. 
Uh, maybe we should do some. Yeah, I don't want. I don't want to worry about that. Let's get war caskets now. I think we're at that stage. I'm also not going to get the actual mending mod. I just got it because it's very good for a few other mods. It just works well with a few other mods. Uh, but yeah, we're not, I'm not actually going to be using it to repair our equipment. We already got enough mods that have incredibly powerful abilities that allow you to repair equipment. So let us actually set up that proper trade route now, finally. Uh, you are bonded with Valetta, right? Yes. Incredible stuff. Let us now send out the trade caravan. We're not sending out the Slurrypede. I want Eric, Steve, and Lime. Again, I want all of the... F really? How much food do these animals need, man? Okay, you know what? I actually don't think we're going to need that many. Ay, ay, ay. Actually, you know what? Fuck it then. Let us... You know what? Next episode, we're doing a raid. If if we're going to have that much trouble with food, fuck it. Let us actually do it properly then. And we'll actually do a proper raid. Give me Eric. And then give me Lime. And then that's enough supplies to last them the entire route. Uh, you can take a couple more hemogen. Take a couple more meals. You never know if something bad might happen. Take a couple more medicine. Just to make sure. Two beds. Never hurts. Uh, we only need one. Okay, we'll take two. Just in case they're individually using them for whatever reason. Okay! I think that's good. We don't need the glitter tech. That's really uh, some good shit. I don't think I need Eric for this then. <laughs> So stupid. <laughs> All right. Uh, select the spot formation right inside. Select the exit. Over fucking here. And then boom, we're going to send them off. And then that's when we're going to end the episode off. I wanted to do the trade run, but we're going to do that next episode then, it seems. Better safe than sorry. And I do want more food and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it seems that the bison are going to be a huge food investment, but this thing should be uh, making up for that quite significantly. It's 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 insane how much uh, how much food this thing is going to produce. Why are you go back to slurry? Go to go to your spot, you bozo. Yeah, basically just eats food and it just goes out in this way and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So yeah, other than that though, everybody, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Massive episode. Very, very happy about it. Uh, we got, we actually got trade animals, finally. We got a bunch of research done, and we're getting some... We, we got rid of a mech cluster. It's It's been a great episode. I really don't know what else to say. Uh, but yeah, other than that though, everybody... Oh my god, what is that? A Mosin got? Sure, we'll definitely take that. Why the hell not? We'll definitely take that. Uh, I'm also thinking about adding some gun turrets now. Uh, just for the extra bit of security. Actually, I might do that right now, just before I forget. Uh, num 2 Browning. This is a 50 cal, right? Yeah, I want automatic shit. Ugh. Hmm, okay. I want something that's, like, not terrible, but not, like, ridiculous either. I don't need, uh... I do... Hmm. Fine. That should be, uh, that should be perfectly good enough for that. What's your construction at, by the way? Eight. Okay, well, you should be good enough to do that, then. Oh, they, they are psychically suppressed right now. We also got to remember that. Uh, I am totally going to try to make something probably next episode. Maybe add some, like, spots here to shoot from or something. I don't know exactly. But we definitely do need more... 
I would guess to say inside help. A man cannon, a portable medieval mounted, blah blah blah, automatic grenade launcher. I guess it's not that big of a deal, but yeah, other than that though, everybody, I do gotta go. Uh, it was an absolutely great episode. We are going to be stealing all of the, or trying to take as much of this wood as humanly possible. There's only six people there. Yeah, only six people and there's 1,800 wood. If we can get that, that's going to solve all of our wood issues forever. Uh, why are you so sad, my friend? What's wrong? Oh, you're, you're just keep hitting on fucking everybody. <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> but, um, yeah. We're, we're really getting a lot done. We got our big block of rock that it seems to be a positive. No negatives from that at all. Uh, let me actually see what kind of room this is. Nest. It's uh, slightly impressive. Okay. That's perfectly fine. It can be used as a recreation room as well, which is massive. That is absolutely insane. But yeah, other than that though, I do got to go everybody. It was an absolute blast. And I'll see you all next time when we actually raid this little settlement here for some wood. Other than that. Uh, fuck you, Big Red, for having 13 million sad wanders. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>